All right. What's up, everyone? It's Kingfix Media here, and today, well, it's a long-awaited EDC video. One of the questions I get asked the most is, hey, what's your EDC? What do you carry every day? What do you recommend for this? What do you recommend for that? Well, today, I'm going to show you exactly what I carry. Before we get started, make sure you guys head over to kingfixmedia.com. As many of you know, I'm a professional photographer and videographer. If you'd like to work with me, go ahead and put your information in the chat box. Send me a DM. Let's do some work. Also, for those of you who appreciate premium merch and apparel, like what I'm wearing right now, head on over to winschow.com and get some stuff. All right, so we're going to dive into seven items that I carry every day that I generally have on my person unless I'm either going for a run or a ruck or if I'm working out. Some items I do switch out. So the first item on my EDC list is going to be my Casio. I have a Casio W800H classic Casio watch, 10-year battery, $17 at Walmart. Need I say more? Um, but the watch that I wear when I work out, I actually have a Gen 1 Apple Watch. And with this Gen 1 Apple Watch, I track my workouts. I can set alarms, play you know my music, my playlist through. So it comes in handy. It's old, but it, it still works. So why not? So also to go along with my Gen 1 Apple Watch, I have an iPhone 6 Plus. So I catch a lot of heat and a lot of heads turn when they see that my iPhone has a button and people are like, oh, your iPhone's got a button. And a lot of times people even think it's an Android. I know it's weird, but it's an iPhone 6, iPhone 6, is it an iPhone 6, iPhone 7, one of the two. It's an, it's an old iPhone and I can use it to make and take phone calls. So that's really it. Now, for those of you who are following me on TikTok and Instagram and you've seen what I post, Everything that I post is posted from this phone. Now I do shoot on a Blackmagic 6K camera and also I have a Canon EOS R mounted up top, but all of that footage is edited on my computer, airdrop to my phone, and then I post straight from there. So an old iPhone still works. The next item that I have to go along with my old iPhone and my old watch is my earbuds. So I have these J-Labs earbuds, which these were from Best Buy and they're budget earbuds they're not airpods they're not you know the newest the most fancy but they work and one of the things that i like about them is outside of the having a legitimate charging case they have the cord connected to the case so if you've got a usb outlet i can plug directly in and charge these up i've never had any issues with them i've never drained the battery on them i've never you know really had any hiccups with them i've been able to make and take phone calls with them so they just work the next item on the list, probably one of the more important items, is my wallet. So the wallet that I've been using for about the last three or four months is the Celtic Shield wallet, which, full disclosure, they did send me this wallet, but I had to replace a leather wallet that was slowly falling apart. Now this wallet is far more rigid than a leather wallet, um, but it fits my cards, it fits my cash. I'm, I've always been a minimalist kind of wallet guy, and this just works for my needs and though it is more rigid than the leather wallet i put this in my front pocket and i barely even know it's there i think i'm just i'm just used to it so it'll fit a good amount of cards right now i only have one id in there but it'll fit a good amount of cards and normally what i'll do is i'll put the cards that i use most frequently in the in the band in this nylon band and it's efficient now the one thing i don't like about it is that if i do need to get one of the cards in the middle I got to take all the cards out um, or I can kind of be selective with kind of pushing them through this little uh, slot right here. But neither here nor there. It's a great wallet. I think that, uh, that it's quality constructed and hopefully I can uh, have this for a long time and it doesn't break down on me. The next item is actually an upgrade. So my cloud defensive cheek row. Now what I used to carry was a Streamlight Micro Stream, which a Streamlight Micro Stream is 45 lumens. That's it. It takes a AAA battery. You really don't have many options with it. Whereas with the Cloud Defensive, you've got 350 lumens and 35 lumens. So it's good to have lumens when you need them. That's all I'll say. Uh, if you guys do notice, this does have some wear on it because I actually wear this every single day. I will say I use this for about 30 days before I really started to make a true, true assessment, but I've been carrying it for a few months and I like it. Uh, probably one of the best features is that it's USB-C chargeable. I can just put it on the charger whenever I charge my crappy headphones or my old iPhone. Just throw this on the charger as well. Boom, I'm good to go the next day. 350, 35. You can't beat it. 
Um, they did send me two of them, so I might be doing a giveaway here pretty soon. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. The next item, fairly important. Well, I guess all these items are important, but of the seven, uh, this is probably one of my favorite. This is the Benchmade AFO 9051. This is a utility knife. This is a straight up utility knife. If any of you ever had the pleasure of taking Marine Corps Colonel uh, Martello's knife fighting class, you know that there are knives for utility and there are knives for other things. This is a utility knife. I've had this knife for a few years now and uh, I like the versatility of it because when I first got it, I had the knife clip on, on this side. And what that did was it left a bit of the knife exposed and then when I draw the knife, I'd end up drawing it upside down. So what I did was I switched the knife uh, clip to this side, made it so it, fits, it sits a little deeper in my pocket. And then when I draw it, when I draw my knife, this is how my hand is on the knife. I can manipulate the safety, good to go. Um, I do like the weight of this knife. I do like the strength of it because this knife has been run over by a car and guess what? It's just fine. Um, when it's locked in place, it's, it, it doesn't even move. It doesn't budge at all. So it's, it's maintained its rigidity. It's maintained its quality. Overall, this is a tank and a beast of a knife. I recommend getting one. They are expensive, but well worth it. The last item or last two items of my EDC YouTube, I am a licensed and trained professional and have been for the last 16 years. This weapon is unloaded and is safe. Um, the Glock 19X. The reason I like the Glock 19X, I have a full size grip with a compact slide. So you can't beat that. I wear this to the grocery store, to my kids' events, to uh, church every Sunday. I wear this gun every single day, everywhere I go. If I'm you know, going for a run, I'll put this into my running chest rig, which I'm gonna do a video on very soon. Put this in my running chest rig and it's lightweight. I don't even know it's there, um, but I'm glad I have it for when I need it. And you know, it's something that never hurts to have. Protect yourself. So the way I carry this is the TXC holster. TXC did send me this. I was very skeptical of it at first, very much uh, skeptical. But after carrying it for a few months, I like it. Two of the things that I like about it is this metal clip and how it's, if you look, it's kind of canted a little bit. So that way when you hook it onto your belt, it pulls the weapon close to you, enhancing retention, but also making it so it doesn't rotate. And then the other thing is these little vent holes on the back and on the front. One of the things that I noticed with some of my older holsters is that moisture, <laughs> condensation would pool and I would have to uh, literally take my weapon out and I'd have rust on it from it sitting in there, depending on what I was doing. And that was no bueno, absolutely no bueno. So with this holster, I don't have that. Like I said, I've been running this for a few months running. I hate it when people say running. I've been using this for a few months and it is 100% amazing i like it i give this a nine out of ten so there you have it that's my edc uh, go ahead and drop a comment below if you disagree with anything that i'm carrying and then i'll respond and let you know why you're wrong thank you guys so much for watching again uh, shout out to txc for the holster shout out to celtic shield for the wallet and uh until next time punch out go to work God.